97 and a half percent of the water on the, on the earth on the planet is seawater. The coastal deserts of the world we can now irrigate with seawater. We can produce wealth including food and jobs. We can produce environmental enhancement for the planet and we can solve a major problem, the problem of, help solve a major problem of global warming. What we do, we take water from the sea, we bring it inland in a canal, we lift it a few meters, we grow shrimp and fish, other aquatic products, and then we take that seawater, which is now full of excrement from the shrimp and fish, and we irrigate new crops that will grow on seawater. In the process, we can irrigate thousands, hundreds of thousands, ultimately millions of hectares of land and turn it green. These green plants, of course, take carbon out of the air. The carbon is stored in the, in the, in the, the, the um, above ground parts of the tree, it can be used as permanent building material, etc. A, a ton of carbon is kind of like a cubic meter of black coal. You can take about five of those out of the air per year per hectare and permanently store them in the roots of the plants, in the stems of the trees, the, the trunks of the trees. So let's say it's $20 a, hect a metric ton. That's $100 a hectare. Let's say the bank would be willing to pay 10 years in advance. It's $1,000 per hectare. In some parts of the world, with a bit of sweat equity from the local people, you can build farms and forests for that amount of money. So now you've got them built, and now these people have an income. They have jobs, they have money, they have greenery, and it takes off and expands and expands. It's absolutely key to this whole thing. And if we don't give these people jobs and income and a better lifestyle, things are going to get worse instead of better.